it's Janine Lattimore from the Feel Good Life Club and in this video I want to talk about what to do when honouring yourself means disappointing other people. Recently I was in a situation, in fact it all kind of came to a head yesterday, where I had made a commitment to do something and Initially, I was interested in doing it. I did want to do it and but then as time had worn on Some things had changed and it was actually just becoming more and more stressful for me to fulfill this commitment and to do this thing and I was really beginning to struggle and feel stressed and it all came to a head yesterday when I was supposed to go and do this thing yesterday evening and so yesterday morning I just to be honest I kind of just fell to pieces a little bit really and I was just really really struggling with the decision the decision of do I go or not do I go and do this thing or not and there were a whole lot of shoulds floating around in my head and most of the shoulds were to do with what other people wanted and I I had really tried to kind of do the to do the reframe thing you know try to to frame it in my head to just let go of the stress and think okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and enjoy the moment just gonna let go of everything else and just go and enjoy it you know thinking to myself how can I enjoy this moment how can I reframe this in my head so I don't feel so resistant because that's what I was feeling I honestly I was just feeling this huge wall of resistance within me to to going to this event I and I and it was like I was trying to get around this wall. It was like this big wall of resistance was there. And I was trying to get around it. So I was trying to reframe it. I was trying to let go. I was trying to, you know, think, okay, I'm just going to find find a way that I can enjoy this. I'm just going to try and make the best of it. And when I thought that too, just that I'm going to make the best of it, it that was when things started to kind of click and go mmm okay hang on hang on I need to acknowledge this big wall of resistance I need to acknowledge what that's all about because if I'm thinking I'm only going to make the best of it I need to to face that wall and that wall was this big flashing neon sign <laughs> going I really don't want to do this I don't want to do this and and so I I kind of just felt like I had to sit down and go actually that's what I need to look at I'm trying to get past this past this but really I can't and and I think I can't because it's actually this big flashing neon sign that I am not honoring myself. I'm not honoring myself. I'm just doing this for other people. It's not what I want to do. And it's actually causing me a lot of stress to be able to, to do this for others. And, and so I, you know, I still kind of fought with the decision a little bit. There was a lot of shoulds coming up as they do. You know, I should do this and I should do that. And the shoulds are usually around other people and what other people want or what we think will please other people, what we think other people want. And when I just cut through it and went, actually, what would I do if I truly loved myself? What would I do if I truly loved myself? And as always, when I ask myself that question, the answer is very clear. And I know that it's the right thing to do to honor myself, 
that doesn't mean that it's necessarily the easy thing to do. And and I think that's that is often the case. Um, not always. Sometimes it is easy to to honour ourselves, but often honouring ourselves means disappointing other people or not doing what other people want us to do and that can be really hard having to deal with that you know for me it was having to make a phone call and talk to someone and and, and tell them that I actually didn't want to go that I wasn't going to go and that was really hard and and then I also um, also had to deal with my daughter she was there was there was stuff that affected her as well and she was very disappointed and um, I got the silent treatment from her after the paddy the huge tantrum and then the silent treatment so it, it wasn't easy um, but as soon as I made that decision and actually did act on it and and actually honored what I wanted to do I I felt a shift in me and in the energy around that situation and I realized that when we when we're just doing something to please somebody else and it's not what we really want to do we don't we don't honor ourselves but we also don't honor other people because there there isn't any truth or light in what we're doing we're not being honest with ourselves we're not being honest with them so you know that's that's kind of the first thing that when we don't honor ourselves we don't honor other people around us either if we're just doing things to please other people then we're not being truthful with them we're not being truthful with ourselves and we're not being truthful with them and the other thing is on an energetic level when you feel negative emotion about anything so if you are doing something that you don't actually want to do but you're doing it to please other people or because you don't want to disappoint other people then you have resistance within yourself you have energetic resistance within yourself because there's conflict going on because you're not being true to yourself so you you've got feelings of negativity because you aren't actually wanting to do this thing and often that leads to feelings of resentment or anger frustration stress and so it brings about all this resistant energy within you and then you also bring that to whatever situation you are in and you bring it into your interactions with others so while making that decision to honor yourself may initially feel selfish and it may be really hard to make that decision because of you know it kind of brings well, not necessarily conflict but um, you know sometimes you you have you are it brings you into a situation where you have to say no to someone or you have to disappoint someone and and that's really that can be very very hard and but I think we have to remember that and I say we because I'm speaking to myself as well <laughs> as always pretty much when I'm making these videos and writing my blog I, I I write for myself as much as anything I write to clarify things for myself and to embed these things in myself the learning so I think you know when we when we are faced with that kind of situation we're honoring ourselves means disappointing someone else and it's not the easy choice that we need to remember that if we're not honoring ourselves we're not honoring others either because we're not being truthful and also if we have resistant energy within us so we're doing things just out of a sense of obligation or we're doing things just to please other people 
then we have resistant energy within us which creates dis-ease in us so it creates constriction it creates stress and we also bring that energy into our interactions with others so really honoring ourselves is actually the best choice not just for us but for everyone we're interacting with as well and I would even say on a universal level because I believe in universal energy and I believe that the energy we bring forth in ourselves also exists on a, an, an overarching consciousness as well. So I hope that that understanding strengthens you and encourages you in the way that it has for me when you are in the situation where choosing to honour yourself is not the easy choice because of the effect that it will have on others. And as always, feel good and I will talk to you soon.